This is Liz Colburn, host of The Morning Uplift. Thank you for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hey, this is Lee. And this is Chelsea. And we are the host of your new favorite sales podcast, See Jane Sell. Join us every Thursday for a new episode where we will tackle the realistic world of sales and maybe teach you a thing or two along the way. You can subscribe to CJ and Sell on Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, iHeartRadio, Castbox, and Spotify. Thanks, and enjoy the following podcast on Public House Media. What is up, Rewritten Society? It's Julianne Condia, your host. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a part of this. And I just, I cannot say it enough. I am so grateful you choose to take some time out of your day to listen to this podcast and to listen to each episode. Thank you for tagging me on Instagram at Julianne Condia or at The Rewritten Society. I seriously love hearing how each episode speaks to you in different ways and I just feel more connected to you and and that's what I want as far as this podcast goes and and just where you want to go in life what you want to do and how you're overcoming obstacles I love partnering with you I love doing life with you and it just makes my heart so happy and grateful and thankful so thank you for being a listener Thank you for being a fan of just growth and a fan of wanting to get better. I'm all about that and I am excited for what's to come for you. So today I want to talk to you about feeling versus standard. And I think a lot of times when we start our journey or you know, we're setting goals, we really go based on how we're feeling. So for example, if you're feeling frustrated with your weight, feeling frustrated with where you are physically and you're just at a loss of energy, you feel frustrated so then therefore you want to do something about it more likely and you base it off of emotions and feelings and I just have to say this journey, this journey of growth is going to require a certain standard, a certain habit, a certain routine of you that cannot be fully based on your emotions because people will show up when they feel like it, but those days you don't feel like it, those days that are hard, those days that are stressful, something happens in your day. I remember just being a teacher and you don't know who would walk into your room at the end of the school day. If it was a parent, you would get caught up or every day just seemed a little bit different based on exhaustion or busyness, meetings, this and that, weather. You may not feel like it. So in order to go to that next level, in order to max out your potential, in order to know how you're made for more and what to do about it, is going to require a standard of you to push through when you don't feel like it. And this is really hard because there are going to be days where you don't enjoy it. There are going to be days where it's really mentally tough and you're fighting habits, old habits that don't serve you. And the best way I can really relate this to is to working out and eating healthy But I think you can relate this to your journey of being single, your journey to giving up alcohol like I've done, your journey to building a business, your journey to going to grad school, whatever it is, it's it's going to require this standard, this standard of I'm going to press through, I'm going to push on, I'm going to show up, I'm going to get it done no matter what, no matter if I'm into it, no matter if I hate it at the moment, whether I'm stressed or questioning myself, because we go our whole lives living a certain way. And now you 
You're wanting to change. You're wanting to level up. You're wanting to chase your potential. You're seeing a different way than you saw before. I feel like when I grew up, it was you go to school, you get a degree, you find that job, you get married, and you settle. Like, that is life. And now, here I am taking risks, doing what I want, creating my schedule, building a business with my husband. We're entrepreneurs. (laughs) We're not using our degrees. We're doing basically opposite of everything we were taught. And that goes to show also for me deciding to turn to fitness. I I went for so long hating it, dreading it, using fitness as a punishment and not knowing what to do, feeling insecure at the gym. I have all of those habits built into me and here I am wanting to change that, wanting to love fitness, wanting to work out every day. Actually, I didn't want to work out every day but creating those habits. And here I am battling this old lifestyle of these old habits that weren't taking me anywhere. The only place those habits were taking me were exhaustion, complaining, and settling. Complacency, complaining, negativity, all these things, right? And here I am wanting to think better, be more positive, inspire other people. And I have this old voice in my head telling me and validating me for all the reasons why, you know, you, you've done enough. You showed up more this week than you have ever before. So why don't you just take a break? You're fighting, you know, you're tired. You might as well just go to bed. You're fighting, you know, what? it's just one show. And what your new self has to do, you have to create this standard of I am willing to do whatever it's going to take to get to that next level. And for me, what that looked like looked like and, and what that looked like in my life was I stopped watching Sunday football. And if you know me, oh, I love that. I've added that back into my life because my standards and my habits are so much better that I don't struggle getting in workouts. But in that moment, I had to create this discipline for a couple of years of on Sundays, I I work my business. On Sundays, I still work out. On Sundays, I'm going to read personal development instead of watch TV. And the temptations of wanting to kick back, not put effort in, not work my business were so real. But because I had set this standard of how I wanted to live, what I wanted life to look like, I couldn't help but show up. And that's what kept me going. It wasn't based on if I felt like it or not, because honestly, I would not be talking to you today if I had gone based solely on how I was feeling. Because most days I didn't want to. Most days I was too tired. Most days, dot, dot, dot. Then, over time, I noticed instead of thinking, am I going to work out today? (laughs) It turned into, what time am I going to work out today? And then it got even more specific of, I'm working out at this time every day. So, before I was winging it, before I was, maybe I'll show up today, to, I'm going to show up today. It's a non-negotiable And it's crazy too because fitness for me, I really hated it in the beginning and then because I created a standard, I decided to change my mindset around it. Instead of thinking about how it's a drag, it's boring, it's not fun, it is hard, I started thinking about how I felt afterwards. I started to think about how my body was feeling and how my body was starting to look a little bit different, that I was feeling more confident. And then when you start getting results, you start to realize if I just stick this out, it's going to just keep on continuing. And then working out for me turned into such a habit that now when I go on vacation or I have a busy day or I'm family's visiting, it just became a non-negotiable that that is what I do. That is how I live. 
So my friend, you cannot do this based on how you're feeling because there are going to be days you will not want to put in the work. Building a business was not based on how I was feeling. Building a business had to do with the standard I set for myself of how I wanted to live, how I wanted life to be, and I knew putting in an inch, putting in effort would make all the difference. Let me know how this episode spoke to you. Remember, feelings versus standard. Set the standard, create the habits, you'll make the routine, and you'll start to see your life change and transform. And I'm so excited for you. Please screenshot this. Tag me at Julianne Condia. I cannot wait. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you soon.